guys, so it's here. It's here, the package that I have been waiting for for a little while. I think it was like a few days, but it came in really fast. I'm super excited to share with you guys. This is basically the only reason I changed over to the R system. It's here. Here it is in the naked box. I took all the wrapping off. I, mean, I don't. I don't think you guys want to see this because that's just that's not important. But um, oof. behind this box right here, let me tell you, it has been um, quite an expense on the credit card. You know, I had to do it because uh, it's it's the way it is. But let's go on. Let's see what's in here. I've never done an unboxing video or anything like that. I don't think I'm really gonna do the whole thing. But I want to kind of share this experience with you guys. I'm super excited. Uh, let's kind of, uh, let's see what's behind the brown bags. Let's just see. And of course people text me while I'm doing this. I'm like, yo, leave me alone. I'm unboxing something. Wow, this thing is so small compared to... Mm. So yeah, here it is, the RF7200. This, I've been waiting for something like this for a very long time. I've owned the 7200F4, that was one of my first telephoto lenses ever that I had when I started uh, photography. And then I've owned the 2.8 version one, the 2.8 version two, all three of them, I think produced amazing images. But man, there was no change in the whole body. In fact, here we go, so, here it is, boom. 7200 2.8 this thing has been around this particular body style of lens has been around for so long so many generations of the 7200 have looked exactly like this actually the version one was a little bit smaller but going from the version one to the version two and the version three body size style has always been the same optically they've improved it throughout the versions but as far as, far as form factor the actual lens itself was the same. This thing is a hefty little beast. I mean, this thing is like almost three and a half, four pounds or something like that. And it's pretty hard to carry. When you are traveling on vacation, maybe for personal use, you don't want to be carrying this thing. That's why I was saying before, I think it just makes sense to carry this as professionals because this is a real professional tool. Uh, for those of you who are second photographers out there, I think this is an essential piece of kit to what you shoot because you don't want to be in front of the main photographer all the time and shooting behind the scenes stuff or just kind of being behind a bush with the foreground and, and getting the couple there this this thing right here you, you're out of the way produce amazing images um great keepers with this so let's not talk anymore let's kind of open this thing <laughs> oh man <laughs> i love that new box feel just like that opening you crack that crack open just Oh, this is gonna need that. Oh, I think it's, hold on a second, why is, oh, got your little, oh, they don't have that. Eh, don't need that, don't use that. Ooh, mm, mm. I just, oh my God, this thing is just, oh. Oh my God. When they say this thing is, oh, let me just get this out of the way. I'm so excited with this, this is just, oh. That's kind of that little thing. Eh, 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 who, who cares about the box? But this thing is so white. What? Oh my god! When they say this thing is small and light, they this thing. Oh, what? Wow, it's so tight. Oh, it's locked. Duh. Just. Oh man. Yo, this. This is a game change. Wow. No, seriously, a game changer is an overused term, but ho oh, ho, man, this thing. Look, yo, mm hmm, mm. It's like, ho oh, ho, man, boom, right there. This makes no, this, wow. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, I think they, they really kind of put a lot of work and research to make something like this to, and that's, is why you guys are paying so much money for this. When they say this thing is small, I mean, look at that. Oh, mm, mm. I mean, oh man. Mm. Wow, look, look. 
even when zoomed out this thing is let's see when zoomed out yeah this thing is about the same size but man it is it is a it is a pound lighter let me tell you this is one of the reasons why i need to get this lens i mean when you're traveling with that that thing this thing can also fit vertically in your bag versus horizontal in some bag this thing is going to save you so much space and it's going to save your back i mean i'm willing to even travel with this this thing is so get out of town this thing do i have my i don't have my 85 here but man i'm telling you with the hood of an 85 this thing is about the same size wow this thing is mm. that smell i mean this thing might even replace my 85. no I mean, being the prime guy now, it's, this won't replace my 85, but I bet I'm willing to travel with this. Now, some people had said online about this kind of, yeah, there's a, I think Jared Poland, yeah, some of the guys out there had mentioned, yeah, there's definitely a bit of a, like a, let's see. Yeah, there's, yeah. So there is that, there's that one thing about this. This, this, there's a, there's a significant, maybe like a, Mm, let's see, let's go back to this guy right here. Yeah, there's there's definitely a little bit of an extra turn, maybe like 20% more of a turn on the actual zoom to kind of get it in there. So, I don't know, there's a little bit more resistance too, maybe because it's a, maybe because of the design, but it's, I mean, I don't know, just, I don't know, I think it'll work perfectly fine. This ring, just this, this collar, this mount feels a little different, like it's it's metal, but it's more matted. Uh, I don't know, this this thing feels, let's just see, how do you take this thing off? And, oh, I just heard a click, is that good? Oh, oh it's a pull design. Okay, I don't, I don't know, with a lens this small, I probably don't even need to use that. Let's just, just put it on, I mean. Let's put on, let's put on the camera, let's stay yeah. Here we go, EOS R. So yeah, this is my first native uh, RF. Ooh, that nice feel, that nice seal, just the, that first time when you're mounting a lens. Wow, this this thing is tiny. This, like, there's, man, there's like, there's like no weight on this. This thing, this thing feels like I'm holding an 85. Seriously, this is like, what? That is, that is unreal. I mean, look. <laughs> Uh, even with the 85, this, even with the 70, the old 7200 is still longer than with the camera together. That's just, <laughs> that's unreal. But man, let's just see. Mmm, right there. Just hold on a second. Ha ha. Ooh, new toy. Get like, wow. The image stabilization is so silent. Like I hear it moving, but it's like. It's so minimal, really nice. Whoa, that's 70 to oh, that's pretty long. So let's just see. Um, hmm. Gonna take some time to get used to the focus slash zoom ring being reversed. I think that will take a little bit of time to get used to, but just having that out there. I think they did that maybe for a reason. So, you know, when it is zoomed to 200, there's a little bit more of a balance point because your hand is here versus here. So, I don't know. Maybe the engineers thought of all that stuff. Where's the hood? Where's the hood? Ooh, I didn't even take out the hood. Let's see. Mm. This has got so excited about this. We're gonna take out the hood. It's, it's white. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really use hoods anymore. When, I, when I'm a photographer, I used to use a lot of hoods, and then now that I'm shooting both, I don't really typically use the hood so much, but this is pretty cool. I mean, this thing has this little this little door here i think that's probably for you know if you have a filter maybe an nd filter or a circular polarizer you can kind of turn that with ease um it still is a 70 it's still a 77 millimeter thread which is nice then i can use my old things and I don't know, it doesn't, I guess, I guess it looks kind of cool. I don't, feels really good in hand. Oh, it has a little, has a little release button. That's nice. So, ooh, that's nice. The, I uh, hope all the other RF lenses are created this way, but has sort of this really indent, you have to really push this button in order for it to lock. Cause I've had, I mean, you guys know the EF lens hits, they just come off out of random, some kind of lemmings in there, but 
But man, this thing feels really good. Oh, this little RF ring, this little uh, adjustable dial that has a little feel to it. But man, it has that little clicking sound. I could see that being annoying for videographers, maybe. You hear that? I don't know if you guys hear that. Something interesting to play with, I don't know. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this video. I know that this isn't a review or anything about this video, but I want to kind of share this open box experience with you. I've never done an open box uh, video or anything like that. I always thought they were pretty cool, but I'm gonna put this lens to good use, uh, give you guys feedback, probably come up with another video and share with you my actual real world field uh, thoughts on this because uh, I think that that's really important uh, before you guys make that purchase. But if you guys are ready to make the RF switch, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can pick up yours. It, again, it is expensive, um, but depending on what you do, if you're traveling, if you know you just want to get that weight off of your back, one pound is huge. I mean, one pound plus the weight savings of the R going mirrorless versus something like a 5D, you're you're saving some pounds. I mean, this is uh, that's kind of the reason for it, right? If you guys like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.